Welcome to ashatech.com Today we are going to discuss discharge over a rectangular notch or wire. We said where a notch is used, we can also use a wire somewhere to do the same purpose of measuring the flow of the fluid through a channel or in a tank or out of a tank. So now we are going to consider a rectangular notch. So we are taking a rectangular shape of the notch or wire. This is a crest which is the bottom over which the water is flowing or the top most part of the notch and this is a nap which shows the profile of water as it flows over the crest of a wire and this is of a nap a nap of the water flowing over the rectangular wire let us consider rectangular notch or wire provided in a channel carrying water as shown above. Let H be the head of water over the crest and the arrow be the length of notch or the wire. Now to find discharge of water flowing over the notch, consider an elementary horizontal strip of water, thickness DH and length L at depth H, small h. From the free surface of water as shown in the diagram C. This is the thickness dh and it has a distance h from the free water surface. So from a geometry of uh, the section at crest in C, area of that strip is therefore equal to length times the thickness of the strip which is dh and the theoretical velocity of water flowing through the strip is always given as that velocity which is theoretical is equal to square root of 2 gh according to Torricelli's theorem it means therefore that the theoretical discharge we know discharge to theoretical is equal to a theoretical velocity times the area and this is equal to arrow times dh times root 2 gh If we introduce in what we call the coefficient of discharge, CD, being the coefficient of discharge, then the actual discharge, CHU, actual, will equal to, let us use it as CHU, will therefore equal to CD times R DH root of 2 gh now the total discharge for the notch or wire can be obtained by integrating the above equation between limits of o and q so total discharge total discharge will therefore equal to the integral of C D R D H times root of two G H from zero to H will give you integral from zero to H of C D, which is a constant, times the R, which is also a constant, then times 2g i remove this uh, from uh, the square root sign uh, this is the root of 2g 
times h to power a half then dh. So now this is integral from 0 to h. We have c d arrow root 2g of h out of 2 uh, h to power a half dh which is equal to c d l root 2g of this is uh, in integration we divide we add the we increase the power by one and divide by the new power if uh, this is um, a half then plus one it will become h to power 3 out of 2 this is times 2 out of 3 because 3 over 2 divided by this it will come to be 2 out of 3 now from limits 0 to h so now it means that your discharge discharge 2 will equal to 2 out of 3 c d r root 2 g times h if we substitute in 0 first of all the whole thing will become 0 then we subtract it from h so it will be h to power 3 out of 2 this is the discharge of uh, the fluid as measured by a rectangular notch or wire thank you so much for watching for us in the next lecture